Welcome to Steam Day, last speaker. How are you guys doing? We are <laughs> super excited right now, as I can tell that you guys are. Um, because, like you heard, we are startup entrepreneurs ourselves. And we right now actually get to sit down and talk to one of the most successful entrepreneurs of our time. He grew up in Burroas, founded the company Trade Doubler in 1999, and then went on to found one of the most exciting and well-known startups of the last decades. Please welcome up on stage Martin Lorenzon from Spotify. <laughs> Boom. All right, great to have you here. Let's see if we can get you installed. Thanks. So. <laughs> it's a bit shaky. <laughs> That's a funky yeah. chair right there. Yeah. Yeah. Before we get into the more serious questions. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, Fritjof and I thought we would get started with a few very short, quick questions to sort of take your temperature a little bit. So, you ready? The first question, what is your most played track on Spotify? Uh, it must be something, because I just started to play acoustic guitars, it must be something with uh, two Mexican artists, Rodrigo and Gabriela, so I say Tamachun, it's a fantastic uh, two guitar song. I'm, that, that is probably the most play, played song. If you got <coughs> one superpower, what would it be? It must be um, invisibility. I like the show The Invisible Man. So <laughs> then you can sneak in and listen a little bit to entrepreneurship meetings, one on one here. And uh, that's cool. And nice. do a little bit peekaboo. Yep. So if you were a hip-hop artist, what would your stage name be? Yeah, since it has been a lot of talking about competitors, Apple, Dr. Dre, so it must be something with doctors, I would say um, Dr. Martin. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good stuff. <Yeah. laughs> what is the first thing you do in the morning? <clears throat> yeah, it, it's probably reading a Swedish magazine, Dagens Industry. Happiest the, the, moment. Pa the paper version. Mm. Normally I do the digital version, but this I, I keep in paper. Huh? Good. And That's what's cool. the happiest moment of your life? Oh, it's a, it's a big question. So, but I, since I'm talking here to entrepreneurship, it must be something with creation, uh, creating Train Doubler or creating Spotify. So this setting up a company, it must be the most, m the most happy moment in, in the most happy moments in my life because I've done it a couple of times. Now you didn't get any music when you came up on stage, but if you could <coughs> choose a song to walk up to, what would it be? Uh, probably not hip hop. Uh, okay, my stage name, Dr. Martin. I, I would probably pick uh, Blur, Blur this uh, song too. It's a lot of energy. Yeah. And actually they're also coming now with a new album after I think 10 years. So they are, they are coming now with, with, a, with a new album on, on, on Spotify. So song, song two with uh, Blur. Great choice. Yeah. So when there's just too much to do at work, what do you do <coughs> to decompress? Yeah, something with, uh, to, to relax. Uh, probably playing guitar, some drums, uh, 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 playing golf. We can actually do this to a political question. So uh, it's, you, you can... Uh, you, you can deduct uh, when, when, you, when you give your employees a membership in gym, but then the tax authority, they say, it cannot be personal training, it cannot be golf, it cannot be meditation, yoga, riding horses. And I think that is in, in this environment, uh, when you, because when you're coding uh, so much, then you should really do some meditation things. So I think they should change uh, the tax rules a little bit. So something with guitar coming out in the nature. What's your favorite curse word? That, that's a bad word? Swearing. Yeah, yes. fuck off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you value most in friendship? Uh, to, to laugh, to laugh a lot. So some, some funny person to tell me some laughable stories. What are you most excited about these days? Uh, One thing. Mm, Spotify's exponential uh, growth. 
good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. So, um, talking about your exponential growth, what would you like to say to JC? To JC? <laughs> I would say I have uh, 99 problems, but JC is, is not the one I'm thinking about. <laughs> Good one. What is the one thing about Spotify that people would be surprised to learn? Uh, yeah, I can tell many stories, but then I need time. I, 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 can, I can tell something about the name. A lot of people think Spotify is uh, a collaboration uh, or that we are playing with words, that Spotify is a combination between spot and identify. So spot, defy, spot and identify. And, but it, it's not true. It's, it was actually a coincidence. We were sitting, uh, Daniel and I, in his mother's apartment, and he was screaming something. And I thought he said Spotify. And then I checked it up. And, and uh, at that time, uh, .com name, uh, .cn for China, all these domain names were free, and then we immediately bought the name. So it, it's just, it's just uh, by coincidence. So the after construction is it's a combination uh, by spot and identify, but it, it, it's not true. Bit of storytelling <coughs> there. Nice. Yep. Um, so what advice would you give yourself at 13? <clears throat> I'm, uh, of course, I'm, 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 I'm a big fan of entrepreneurship, but I'm, I'm also a big fan of the education educational system and and I think the best investment you can do when you are 13 years old is to study a lot be be ambitious and study a lot so I'm always telling people but when I'm for, for example together with Prince Daniel or traveling around in, in in Sweden visiting high schools and universities I'm always telling them keep keep studying keep studying it's the best investment you can do in yourself so study study a lot which dead person would you like to cover for you if you were <coughs> homesick? Ooh, <laughs> it's a little bit spooky. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit, yeah. I, I would say some, um, maybe uh, some really smart guy, Albert Einstein, fascinating person. He also played a lot of music and invented a, a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I, I would say Al Al Albert Einstein. Putting a lot of pressure when you get back, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, so, what's the last hobby that you picked up? Uh, I, I think it, it was uh, two. I, I started to play guitar uh, two years ago, and also uh, started to play golf. So, I, I would say guitar and golf, two two great things. And what is the geekiest thing about you? Uh, Actually, we have our, our headquarter, just uh, the neighbor from here, so this there up here. And we, I do a lot of uh, geeky sports there. Uh, we, I just opened uh, a room with uh, 12 uh, water-cold uh, computers. Uh, I play a lot of darts. I love uh, pinball games. Uh, we are playing table soccer, pool, snooker. So I think uh, these kind of things are the most geeky things. Computer games, it's a little bit geeky. I'm, I'm told for, for computer games, but I, I still play. Pinball games and computer games, it, it's quite geeky. We heard about this room. Yeah. It's amazing, I've heard. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So we can go up there afterwards. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so those were the, the quick questions. Let's uh, dive into um, to some of the deeper ones. Um, you're currently the, the chairman at Spotify, mm -hmm. and you're working with uh, a number of different areas uh, in the company. And you've done an amazing journey from the idea of um, a streaming music service to what's today <coughs> a global company with 1,500 employees and uh, in working in 58 countries. But like we said, we're uh, startup entrepreneurs as well, uh, beginning a journey that's hopefully something similar to yours. So we'd like to pick your brain on some of the things that we should know about when we run our startups. Yeah. So one of the things that I would want to know is, when you sit down with a potential employee, how do you know that this is a person I want to work with? This is a person that can help me grow my <coughs> business? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very good question. And, and different people, they take uh, different approaches. And, and you, you have to find 
a path that you are that you feel comfortable with. So I'm I'm very much for uh, gut feelings and uh, and a lot of people inside Spotify they are very much data mining driven, do asking questions and and uh, follow up on everything. I'm I'm very much regarding recruiting. I'm very much I'm listening to 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 my gut feeling. So I. I rarely talk about, uh, as I said in the beginning, do a lot of education, and, uh, and, but I rarely check the CV. Uh, I ask the basic questions, okay, good education, and, and the CV, okay, it looks fine. Then I start talking, and, and then I want some, some nice energy. If you can get both, I'm always saying motivationslog class, so skills. Uh, is is uh, inferior to to energy, so I'm always looking for energy, working hard. So th that that is the most important part. So I I don't have any 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 book for for doing this. In in just in this case, I I, I listen to my gut feeling, and actually I'm always saying when I start companies, I'm good at two things. I, I read a lot of books and magazines, so I'm always telling people I'm, I'm actually good at two things. So it's <clears throat> looking into the crystal ball and doing predictions about the future. So, and I use this for see if I can find a change in, 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 in the environment. And actually, Trainer was this offline uh, advertising had to take the step in to be online advertising, to take the digital step. And uh, uh, Spotify is actually another change, and that is the ownership model. So instead of buying the CDs, vinyls, and so on, I, I saw a future with replacing the cassette tape and, and build a digital playlist around the cassette tape. So the ownership model took the step into the digital model. The, the access model. And the other thing I'm good at is, is finding good people. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a coding guy, and I'm not so good. So I, I, I listen to my gut feeling. I find something there. Let's, let's start a company inside uh, this area, and then I find people to, to help me. When it comes to <coughs> partnering up with someone and starting a business together, mm -hmm. it's almost like marrying someone, I assume. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, but I, I have a. It, I'm happy that you're asking about this. So I'm always saying in a, in a relationship when 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 you hopefully marry someone, I always say that uh, I think it's good if you are a little bit similar, if 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 you have a couple of hobbies in in common. So they are similar people like each other a little bit better. But in in when you're starting a company, I think you should go for different uh, skills and, and different hobbies. So I have always tried to find people, if I'm a little bit extrovert and doing presentations, I want uh, my partner to be a little bit more geeky, do the coding. So I, I actually did that with Trainer, with mm -hmm. Felix Hagne, and also with, Sp with Spotify and Don Eliek, and they are a little bit similar. They are extremely good at IT, architecture, structure. They are good coders, but, but both of them. So I, I think you should you should not be similar when, when you start a company and you should also be too if you're alone uh, it's good then you own 100% of the company but when you end up in problems it, you feel so you're so alone and three is not good you know this mm -hmm. lord of the flies two versus one so you always attack you get nasty yeah you always <laughs> attack one of them so two two persons it, it, it's very good it's a very good combination but another side of that like I hear what you're saying with having different <coughs> personality types a little bit complement each other, but at the same time, that must also create some conflict over Sh time. Sure. How do you handle conflicts that arise in a constructive way? Yeah, it, 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 can, it can be a little bit rough, rough and tough, but, but I, I think, for example, we, we, with Spotify, Daniel and I, we do a lot of power walks uh, together, and. Uh, and we don't necessarily always agree with each other, but then we have a debate and, and, and back and forth, pros and cons. And, and, and uh, when we're done, then we have to, to, to stick to, to the plan. We have to sit in, in the same boat and do the rowing together. So debate is, is I think, it's important. I think it's bad always to have yes-sayers uh, around you. So I, I think it, it's, it's good when, when, when people challenge you. No yeah. hurt feelings. No, no, no. 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 Sure. Good. So there's Co been. 
Sorry? Yeah, but it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a little bit similar with, with competition, of course. I always say music, uh, men, women, zero to 100 years old, everyone loves music. So uh, since everyone loves music, of course we, we have competitors, but competition is good. So I think as, as a Swede, maybe I have this a little bit naive uh, vision that we can coexist and uh, monopoly 100% is bad because then sooner or later you get someone after you. So it's, it's good that, that, that you can co coexist and, mm -hmm. and competition is good. <coughs> so when it comes to you and the, and the competition, th there's been a lot of discussion in the startup community the past few years with, with skills versus luck. Or let's not call it luck, let's call it uh, um, factors outside the reach of the company team. So how important do you think it is to actually have luck I to build a successful startup? I, I, I think luck is, is important. I, I, I always say, as I said, okay, it's good uh, to, to, to understand, let's see, what, what should we do? Sh should we sell sand in Sahara or should we sell hot dogs or should we do, do Spotify? So, of course, the, the, there is some value in that. That was what you ch chose between? Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, uh, Good choice. Yeah. But, 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 but Spotify was, uh, the revenue source was, was ads because I had knowledge from ads uh, from, from, from Tradeabler. But the, the traffic source we were debating, should it be product search or should, we, should it be movies or Godfather or uh, audiobooks? And, and then we ended up with, with, with music. So we actually checked the biggest format and we went down to, to, to the smallest format. And we had no clue about how hard it would be to get the, 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 the record license agreements. So of course you need, you need luck in, in this environment. So I always say the business idea is 3% and then execution is 97%. And if you also can be a little bit lucky, then it, it helps. So it, it took us two and a half years to get the test license for, for, for Sweden and almost six years to test this uh, fantastic model in, in, in the United States. And if I would have been unlucky there, no, no, you, you don't get any test license here for, for Sweden. Then I was unlucky and then I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. So I, you should not underestimate luck. Good. So uh, with that said, I'm not going to the casino now and, and, and <laughs> Try, try it again. That's probably a good, good choice right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, a lot of people would argue that the definition of a successful company is a company that generates profit. But Spotify is still growing, <coughs> so it's not generating you know, that big profit yet. But would you still say that Spotify is a successful company now? And if so, why? Yeah, I, I would say it's a, it's a successful company because we have so many... Uh, paying and, and uh, you pay with your time and then you have to see ads or you're paying a monthly fee and and when we do customer service they are very happy with the service so I would say it's it, it's a successful company and you, sh you shouldn't always measure money I'm not saying that money is 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 not important but uh, in this case it's it's uh, we have a plan we have a, a vision and since we have exponential growth it, we think it's better to we are in f in 58 countries and I think the last number with United Nation was 192 countries so I don't see any reason why we cannot also go to the other countries so we we have been focusing on, on growth. We are in all countries in South America, Central America, North America, and Europe, and Australia, New Zealand, and we have started with, with Asia. We are not in Africa yet, but it, it, it's, it's also a natural question. We, we have to check the licenses, the infrastructure. We have to do this together with the telecom operators. So Africa is a, li a little bit behind, but we, we, we will come there. Russia and China, they have other problems. It's uh, copyright issues. And if we have competitors stealing everything, it's hard for us to, to, to have a service. You have to pay, and we are paying to, to, to the record labels. And, and it, it has been a big debate about Russia and China. And uh, it, if, if you don't follow the copyright laws, it, it's hard for us to be there. But it, it's, we will come there. Speaking of geographical marketing and expansion, what are your three main learnings from international expansion at Spotify? I mean, I, I think one key learning is since we started in Sweden, it's the most mature market. And 
We have done a fantastic work together with Telia Sonora. It's a no-brainer. You, you want the mobile device, and then you want the subscription plan, then you want uh, an email service, and then you want the music service. So it, it's a no-brainer to cooperate, for example, here in Sweden with, with Telia Sonora. And all markets follow the pattern we have seen here in, in Sweden. So the, it, 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 it doesn't start with you wake up in the bed and now I should not go to the part bay anymore so, and now I should start paying um, 100 euros a year. It, it starts with this, I think the success has been the freemium model. You, okay, Pirate Bay, okay, they are stealing. So maybe I should start the free, the free version. And, and then uh, when you have built three playlists, you have translated three cassette tapes to three playlists, and then you want to bring your, your playlists with you offline, then you start paying for it. And we see these patterns. So the cohort from 19, uh, 2009, we are still converting the, the free users. So, so Norway, Denmark, the Nordics, Germany, UK, all countries, US are following the same pattern that we have seen here in, in, in Sweden. So we are taking them step by step, the countries. Right. What would your advice be to entrepreneurs that have a digital product? Would it be <coughs> go global from day one? Or would it be more you take one step at a time? or? I, I think uh, Sweden is a, is a good uh, test market because the internet penetration is high. We have uh, good uh, telecom operators. Uh, uh, we, we have good servers, good good infrastructure. So I, I think it's a it's a good key learning to start with Sweden. But since it's a digital product, uh, you don't necessarily have to go to Norway after after Sweden, so, but you can go to the Nordics and then Germany, it's a good market, strong economy, UK, and we Swedes, we are, most of us are good in English, so it's easy for us to go to UK and, 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 and US, and yeah. US is a huge market. Mm -hmm. Of course, everyone would like to go to, to, to Russia and, and, and China, but the, the, the play field is a little bit different there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens with, with, uh, with the copyright laws. Mm -hmm. So to do, oh sorry, you go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so to do these, um, to grow like this, you uh, you need funds, mm -hmm. of course. Um, and uh, that's also key learning. So I'm always saying, hungry wolves are the best hunters. So you should not raise too much money, but without any money, then you will go into bankruptcy. So, but you should also you should always raise a little bit money, and you should not raise the money when you have to because then the terms will be not so good. And the good thing uh, uh, with me was that I made a lot of money from, from Trainabler. So then my negotiation position with, uh, with the VCs uh, was much better than if I wouldn't have any money. So, you should, so I always say we are always out and, 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 and raising money because we, we like it. It's, it's always good to, to have some money, but we cannot raise too much because we must always be a little bit hungry. Hungry wolves, you should raise money when, when, uh, when you can, not when you have to, but don't raise too much. You should, you should. Hungry wolves are the best hunters. So would you say that's the main thing that startups do wrong when they talk to investors, that, that they're hungry for too much? Or? Uh, no. Um, it, 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 it's a good question. So sometimes I think maybe, I'm always, if we're talking about digital apps, I think uh, the best step is if you can run the company a little bit uh, without so much money, and uh, if, you, if you're not able to do the coding, uh, give some coders 5, 10, 15% of, of, of the company. I did that, for example, with uh, Ludwig Strigeus, one fantastic developer in, 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 in Gothenburg, and uh, then you make a prototype, and, and when you have a prototype and you can show the visas uh, something, then it's easier to, 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 to raise money. It, it's hard to just come with, with, with a business idea. And I think you should take it step, step by step. So if, if the valuation, and you know the valuation is not that high in the beginning. So if, if you take too much money, then you will be diluted. So I think it's, it's better if you believe and if you're good in execution. T take a little bit and, and then get some users and then, of course, the valuation will increase. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier that you're good at looking into the crystal ball. Mm -hmm. So if you were to start a new startup right now, 
what market or what industry would you move into? What would be your next Spotify? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. I, I think uh, one reason why I'm so happy now uh, and for us here is so we, we see a fantastic revolution now. And, uh, and I think, I don't know how many mobile users we have in the world, if it's uh, one and a half or two billions, and, and that will go up to five, six, seven billions. Uh, wh when I was a kid, I always said, one business, good business idea would be to sell one box of matches to every Chinese person. And at that time, it was 1.3 billion, and then they have this birth control, so it's still 1.3 billion. I, and I still think it's a good business idea to sell one box of matches to each uh, Chinese uh, uh, person. But, but, but with that saying, it's now you can actually reach all, all the people on, on, on the earth. So I think something with I like this digital things, apps, education, healthcare, uh, what's coming now, more sensors, Apple Watch, and, and use all, all the users in, in, in the world. So I, I, I think we have just seen the start of, of new things uh, coming here. So I think it's a perfect time to, to, to start new companies. Yeah, great. Exciting times. So um, we have time for one question from the audience. Uh, we have a couple of guys with mics out there. We have one question right here. Wait for the mic a little bit. Solveig Rundqvist from the local Sweden's News in English. And I'm wondering um, what it is about Stockholm that makes it so successful for startups. I mean, it's tiny comparatively and yet is you know, number two in the world per capita for unicorns. Why is that? What is the Stockholm secret sauce? Mm. It's, it's, a good, uh, it's a good question. And I think it's something that I have seen before. It's something about cluster, cluster effects. So I'm coming from uh, Boros. So I'm always saying uh, El Toro from Los Boros. So <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and in Los Boros, in Boros, we had these uh, clothing things and uh, a lot of uh, financial services started in, in, in Boros because when you, when you got this catalog, you wanted to buy many more things that you, that, that, that you could afford. And then, so then you could, uh, the financial solution started that you can take a bank loan so you can buy all the clothing that you find in, in, in the catalog. And Boros, they have kept these cluster effect uh, starting companies around uh, clothing. And I think, uh, I see the same thing here in, in Stockholm, built upon education, uh, developing coders, uh, music, uh, crea creativity. So Spotify um, and I Settle, for example, started by Jakob Dier. He was my first employee at, at, at Trade Doubler. Carl Johan Grandinson here started uh, Digital Locks for Doors. He, he, he and Jock, yeah, Carl Johan and Jakob, they, they were the two first uh, employees I hired at, at, at the train doubler, and they still live here. So I see the same cluster effects around coding. That's why I'm talking to uh, the education department that we should have coding in, uh, in, in already start with coding in the ground school. And, and also to, to get the girls, because uh, boys and, and girls, they are the same up to age 12. And age 12, we lose all the girls. So we have to start earlier on with, with coding. So I think it's, it's the coding, the cluster effects. We, we, we help each other here. All right. Thank you very much. We're up to the next point in the agenda, the startup pitches. So you can remain seated. You're going to mm -hmm. be on the jury. We're going to head over there. And then we can welcome the other jury members up on stage. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.